moving on to the next type of inverse hyperbolic functions include separation of real and imaginary now this type will be including four steps the first step is assume tan cos sin x plus i y sin x minus i y these type of sums now using the formula now formulas are sin hyperbolic inverse z is equal to log z plus under root z square plus 1 cos hyperbolic inverse z is equal to log z plus under root z square minus 1 tan hyperbolic inverse z is equal to 1 upon 2 log 1 plus z upon 1 minus z integration dx divided by under root x square plus a square is equal to sin hyperbolic inverse x upon a integration dx divided by under root x square minus a square is equal to cos hyperbolic inverse x upon a integration dx upon a square minus x square is equal to 1 upon a tan hyperbolic inverse x upon a these are the six formulas that we'll be using in this separation of real and imaginary of hyperbolic inverse function so now after the two steps that is first step was tan cos sin x plus i y x minus i y we will be assuming that now from implementing formulas from table now the third step is finding x and y by simply separating the both uh, real and imaginary part we will be getting the values of x and y and then we will find z z is equals to x plus i y so uh, it will be the uh, after finding x and y it will be the combination of x then plus imaginary part of y then we will be getting the whole z complex equation at last so this is the second type of inverse hyperbolic function and we will be getting a clear idea after seeing an example so keep watching
can subscribe and for notes like my facebook page instagram page and get note on our facebook and instagram page so you can download it and yes share it among your friends because a friend in need is a friend indeed so like share subscribe my video and keep watching that's it